Hello. In this month, months, thank you to Boruto. I felt some uh, emotions, some feelings. I I didn't felt since a lot of time. Emotions and feelings that uh, I really think I felt the last time. Thank you to Naruto. So it was really amazing to keep reading like this. So here we are. We are at chapter 11, as you can see. It's um, kind of pixelated. And let's read this chapter 11 together. As always, Boruto most read manga, even this month. So in the first page, we have um, the three Sasuke. I was calling them three guys. So we have three Sasuke. This chapter is called uh, True Power. My kitten Nami Robin here. I think she was not here last month, right? Or maybe for people that are following me, I can tell you who she is. So my cats are named not by Naruto, but by One Piece. The reason is that, uh, fun fact, cats named with the E at the end tends to learn their names easily. So this is essentially the reason why my cats have all numbers, uh, all names that uh, ends with E. I need to mute my phone because I'm getting one million messages in a row. So she's Robin. Then I have Rufy. It's here on my right. He's sitting in front, in front of the farm. <laughs> and then there is Nami that, I don't know, she ran away somewhere. Okay, let's, let's read now. So... Blind reaction, blind reading reaction plus review at the end. And during, obviously, what we'll need. Let's hope to feel a lot of emotions too. So, three Sasuke here, true power. True power, let's see what true power means. So, we are stuck here with the... His name was Jura, maybe. Could it be? I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I think... His name was Jura. If you hear something strange, it's the farm. But I think I move it so that uh, it shouldn't reach my my microphone, my mic mic. So she transformed Imawari. Yes, Imawari. I'm sure this can be attributed to Nine Tails Chakra. But what is this? So this ex already explains why they were chasing after her. Naruto is not here, but she's here because uh, they were sensing the same kind of chakra. Not only, not only Naruto's chakra, but the Nine Tails chakra. But to be fair, their chakra must be pretty similar. So some way they managed to sense that there was uh, the Nine Tail in inside there. Some way, this is interesting. Like they can kind of sense things that others can't. Maybe similar to how um, Boruto and uh, Kawaki can sense each other. I think. So this may this. Could explain, plus they're kind of bijous. It's possible that, again, they sense things that others can't. Or maybe Kawaki and Boruto kind of knew that she had the chakra of uh, the Nine Tails. Or maybe this chakra woke up just now. This could even explain why they noticed now and Kawaki and Boruto didn't just have the time to notice that there was the Nine Tails inside the... Inside, inside the Imawari, all my kittens uh, abandon me. I'm, I'm alone now. I'm alone now, but fine. So, but what is this Imawari? Imawari watches to the right. She's working with Red Zoop. Oh, this, this sound Zoop is maybe his leg that uh, is her bones. Uh, her leg bones that reattach. I thought that the leg was broken. Oh, Zoop is just the, the sound of uh, her um, kind of shoes working. Okay, okay. I thought that leg was broken. It's sealed. What is she doing? So she touches the branch. Oh, she's using... The ace to move him. And she healed him. Incredible. Hey, be careful. And he healed. Oh my god. This wound is close. I'm, sure it's fixed. I'm not sure it's fixed properly. Get him to the hospital quickly. 
What tech is this power you've got? It's very sorry to see a character like this uh, instantly buffed like crazy while the poor guys, even if they train, doesn't matter. But again, to defend Boruto and to talk about what a lot of people didn't understand, Boruto trained like crazy and he's so strong because he trained like crazy. And right now we didn't see anything special, we didn't see any showing of crazy jutsus that require crazy amount of amounts of chakra it's just full skill boruto only showed full skill this is the crazy thing actually it was kind of wicked weakened after the karma was activating so uh, the extra abilities uh, there should be something unique that makes him stronger they don't, they don't look like makes boruto stronger boruto is full ability is it's not like that because he got some free power somewhere. Imawari right now is the opposite, but that's fine because she, since she's young, she needs this buff to be important. And obviously, this is kind of sad again for the guys instead that despite their training, they are useless compared to a character like Imawari, obviously. And they are useless compared to a character like uh, Boruto because Boruto is the most trained, most powerful, smartest, ultimate genius ninja ever. <clears throat> I'm not sure either, but it must be what he's interested in. Oh, but what he's interested in? And I'm going to confirm it now. Ima, confirm. What are you planning? I'm gonna take him down, otherwise it's the end for, for us. Oh my god, she's confident that she can defeat him. <laughs> you guys get away now. Consider that he's only after me. Will be safe as long as you don't try to interfere, Arre. But Chocho, -cho. let's go. You're just in the way, especially with Tinojin in in tow. Chikadai, calm down and think about it. This is a battle we have little chance of winning, so we got to minimize our losses. That's what Timawari is saying. A wise decision, Enara uh, Chikadai. I should remember your name. Let's meet again someday. Jura says. I think again his name was Jura. I'm not so sure. 100% can I move? Aren't my kittens under me? No, they are not. I wanted to get closer with the chair. <clears throat> no way! I cannot accept you. Fighting him alone. I'm not comfortable with it either, but if I have this power, I want to carry out this responsibility that comes with it. Oh my god, we have a, we have a quote from Spider-Man! If I have this power, I want to carry out the responsibility that comes with it. From greater power comes great responsibilities. As I feel that that's what Dead and Big Bro will do will do too. Well, he promised we'd go to we'd go together to that new pancake house when it opens. I haven't forgotten. I love pancakes. Jojo, <laughs> come on. Okay, here we are. I know that you're not uh, complete idiots, which is why it's incomprehensible. What is the drastically lowers your judgment ability again and again? Yamanaka Inojin essentially brought about his own uh, destruction by foolishly not uh, adding. Eating? Oh, eating, okay. Give help. By repeated warnings and engaging in exceedingly reckless behavior that really lacked rationality. But while I do not understand it, it seems that something has caught fire in you. Is it just coincidence or is there some correlation? I love the fact that they look like AIs. This is very interesting. Now I'm realizing this. Because, like, they look like curious AI that come to life. They are smart. They talk in, in a very precise way. They analyze, they analyze, uh, they analyze things uh, incredibly well. And they talk about rationality. You want to just say shut up and she punches him with the left punch. The floor just gets destroyed. Now a right punch and he makes him fly. <laughs> oh my, and he breaks a bunch of uh, rocks. Ooh, oh my god, he punched him crazy far away. He comes back, he looks like some kind of butt. Oh my god! So cool! 
She goes for the Bishudama with the airs. Whoa! And whoa, he can do a Bishudama with the right tie. This is very interesting. And now we see a bit more from these shots uh, the sigil he has on his chest. I still can't understand who the fuck this guy is. Okay, let's see the power of and the scale of these Bijudamas. Imawari. Okay, everything looks fine. The guy can fly. Now, this is a surprise. Not only do you have the power, but you can also control a Biju Bomb. Even given 9 tails power as a prerequisite, I'm extremely curious about uh, how you managed to undergo such rapid advancement, but even more so. Okay, she goes in with a, with a headbutt. Goes behind her. Kicks her. On the floor. <laughs> she... She smashes her face on the floor, poor girl. And there is blood, cool. This is a first. I've decided to release just a little bit. It made me want to test my true power. Oh my god, the true power is about this guy. Oh my god, how fucking strong is this guy? So now we are back on uh, Salada. The previous managed to damage uh, Sasuke Tree. That's a fatal wound. You must be in pain. If you answer truthfully, I'll ease your suffering. Who are you? Why can you use the Chidori? Okay. He appears behind Salada. Healed. The wound is healed. You, those eyes of yours. Jura told me about them. They're Sharingan, aren't they? Jura. Chidori is that what? Is that what the attack I used is called? Oh. Chidori, is that what uh, the attack I used is called? I wondered why it was so hard to control. But it seems that ties like yours are needed to master it. Whoa, very cool. So even if he has a Renegan, the Sharingan is still better to control this kind of such, uh, such um, abilities, such attacks. But it seems the ties like... Okay. What is up with you guys? He never answered your questions. Who are you? Or rather, what is your connection to Uchika Sasuke? Who? I don't know who that is. You keep throwing ridiculous questions at me. Who am I? I'm trying to figure that out. That's why I come to, I come to Konoha. Master Konomaru, protect Sarada. What? His target is Sarada, I think. No, I know it. I, I still... Please! Explain us who the fuck this girl is, the friend of Sarada. Like, this is the craziest uh, mystery of Boruto. Why she's not under the control of um, Ada or, or the kiss she called it? And who the fuck she managed to understand that she going uh, is going after Sarada? Like, she's uh, the only one. She's this is like a nice, cool girl. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Was it a super big Chidori? Oh my god, she's in extreme pain. Her eyes are white. Oh my god, this is scary. Air style. Oh, wait a moment. Okay. Fire art. Oh my god, it burned the guy alive. Konamaru going for the Rasengan. He just switched to move behind him. Chidori on the back. A Rasen Barricade! Cool! Let's go! We see a new technique from Konamaru! <laughs> Amazing! So Konamaru is not total shit! At least after, at least after this uh, this time skip, he managed to learn a technique. Plus, I noticed that now he has some kind of strange uh, um, symbol on his left uh, arm. Maybe it's the sign of uh, the Ninja Lions or something like that. Huh. 
Hello, I'm in there, Salada. Oh, okay. She par he paralyzed there too. Oh my god. But I can I can understand how this works because we didn't really see like everything was pretty clear. And it's also clear that he is using Chidori to try to kill people. And now that he knew about Sarada and uh, for some reason the girl too. Maybe this is just something convenient. He paralyzed it there. But we didn't really see how he's paralyzing them. Okay, meanwhile Jura and Mori keeps fighting. Oh my god. What was that? He died an attack with the blink. Mace attack we saw previously. Managed to heavily damage uh, Imawari, but looks like she's healing, right? What a something healing power, far beyond human or Jinjuriki level. Something almost like what we bid you possesses. You're getting quite weak, it's natural. No matter how much you heal your injuries, you can escape the cor corresponding chakra expenditure. It's a bigger monster than expected, they say, Kurama. Definitely not someone you can do something about solely with high potential. I hate to say it, but we are totally out outmatched. Okay, Kawaki arrives. Hey, could you listen without getting mad? This guy just beat the crap out of you. <laughs> so what's the point of going there? Because I can't go. I cannot go. I'll do whatever I can. That's my point. What can you do? Baru, Baruto Flower. Oh my god, this is. Now, now, we are, now we are watching Dragon. These shots are. I don't know, this is this is epic. Like, this is just a full page. Only to see Boruto flying in the middle. Surpassing uh, Kawaki and this other flying girl here. I don't really remember the name. Boruto. Oh my, he flies like a double, maybe triple the speed of Kawaki. And this time they got him a worry. I have no idea who I am. Now we go back to Sasuke Tree. But somehow, the one thing I didn't know about uh, from the get-go is you. Uchiha Sarada. So, I ask you, who are you? What will I gain if I devour you? And oh my god! In the previous chapter, we saw two frogs that look at, look at like they were of different sizes. And now we clearly see that there are two frogs, so that was not some kind of mistake. One is with Boruto, and another is a bit bigger and is here. And he has like a notepad <coughs> in position. Chica Sarada's location is confirmed. The symbol is square. Whoa! Flying Raijin Jutsu. Okay, he managed to escape, saving Imawari. And now they are all against Sasuke Tree. He takes this world? Okay, he doesn't cut Sasuke Tree in half, he just saves Sarada. Hmm, you crafty thing. Crafty thing. Why call him crafty thing? It's just a way of saying the thing, sorry. Is crafty an adjective like uh, well, well done? Well done guy. Or he said crafty thing because he gets recomposed by the karma. Oh my god. You crafty thing. And then Sasuke Tree says. Otsutsuki Boruto. They call him Otsutsuki. Oh my god. This means they think he's an Otsutsuki. Like they. they it's like. Uh, maybe this has a meaning. It's not because. Like because they know the, no the name of everyone. They're not calling him. Uh, um, Boruto, oh my god, what was the name of Ozumaki? They call him Crafty Thing Otsutsuki Boruto because he got recomposed by the karma. 
so it's like they know is now like a full of Tsutsugi, it's not a new man anymore. Oh my god, this chapter is so amazing. Okay, we reached the end, and to be fair, it's not like I have so much to say. The chapter was still cool, way cooler than a lot of chapters or other ma or other mangas, because this this chapter is full of information. It's full of uh, um, level scaling that, like in Naruto, it clearly shows you and makes you understand what is the power, what are the capabilities of ninjas, and ninjas that with smart moves like Konamaru did can survive even very fatal hits from very powerful and dangerous foes. But at the same time, you can understand how crazy strong others are. The true power. The true power of this Jura, that at least right now, it's way is way stronger than Imawari. But obviously, even if Imawari felt confident, we don't know how she scales based on uh, Boruto. It's really amazing to see Boruto, like this guy is crazy, like... Let's try to understand Boruto flying on a direction. He saved his sister and then he teleported back and saved Sarada too. In in in, in a micro like in a second, I don't know. In a pair of seconds he saved two people into different places. It means he was prepared to do all of this. Yet the frogs prepared to check the situation, to monitoring all the enemies, so that he could move from a place to another, to act and give priority to saving his his friends. It's genius. It's, it's amazing. The writing uh, here it's crazy. And now, thank you to all of this, Kawaki it's out of the way because he was clo closer to Jura. So now, what will happen? Jura will get stopped by Kawaki. Meanwhile, Boruto will manage to fight uh, Sasuke 3. Like... Whoa. Okay, the last chapters, thank you to the revelation of uh, Kurama, etc., were very, very emotional. Um, but this chapter was also very, very cool and well done. Again, the only thing I didn't like so much was Sasuke 3 using his paralyzing... Uh, Jutsu, because I didn't really see too clearly how it worked. Like we see on a shot that he has like just his hand out of the claw from the ground. But I don't know, I think it's not really well um, pictured what heck is happening. Like he can do that uh, from long range, so maybe it's like... Uh, an higher range Chidori that it's less powerful so instead of killing just uh, paralyzes you using uh, electricity maybe just something like that hmm. okay I think we are over here let's give uh, a review of score to this chapter the, the dialogues are amazing, the dialogues are the best thing, the things I love the, the most about uh, this chapter 2. I think it's a good 8. Because it is perfect, essentially. It is perfect. Mm. Like, it's like it's like watching these chapters of One Piece, where essentially, essentially is a waiting chapter. But there the waiting chapter is almost completely useless. Here instead is full of very cool action and some uh, dialogues that give a lot of information, makes you do really interesting theories, to try to understand the situation, to try to understand the, the truth about uh, a lot of cards, a lot of things. And meanwhile, again, the level scaling is doing is is done so well, so well compared to other manga. This is something I love. We completely love uh, lo uh, lost, sorry, the the power scaling. Like, now in every manga, everything happens randomly. Like, you think a character has a level of strength, then in the next uh, chapter, it looks like garbage, randomly. A garbage uh, uh, character looks stronger than the, the, the character that looks the strongest ever. 
everything is completely random. Here, instead, even this aspect is really well done. Amazing, this is definitely still better than a lot of other chapters I read from other mangas in all these uh, last weeks. And I don't want to say month because there were some uh, chapters on Naruto uh, on One Piece that were amazing, obviously. But the quality of Boruto keeps being high, higher and higher. Lovely. So yes, this is my score. I think I can confi confidently say that it's around 8, probably. At least for me. Uh, so this was my brand reading reaction plus review. Not as emotional uh, as others, but still an amazing chapter. And chapter 12 will be probably extremely crazy now. I really want to see now how will Boruto will act uh, and after so much fighting and using of powerful jutsu because the teleporting jutsu uses a lot of chakra I want to see what will happen and if he will manage to fight uh, Sasuke 3 or he will start uh, feeling uh, feeling tired this is the thing I'm interested the most uh, so thank you a lot uh, for watching to all of you obviously you can use the comment section to have a chat with me if you feel like I really hope you will do that only to say if you appreciated the, this content or uh, just to tell me, I don't know, what's your favorite character, if you like those villains, whatever you, you, you want, guys. If you reach the end, please, just, just, just write something, just have a, a small chat together. I would really appreciate it. So, leave also a like. Again, I'm not Jake, this is Ruth, the other cats. Oh, Nami, uh, Robin is up there. I don't know if you can see her. Here. in this point <laughs> I wish you the best guys thank you for uh, being here bye bye